Westminster Abbey, the Tower of Big Ben, the rosy red cheeks of the little children. And 2020 News and Weather Together at 20 minutes before 7 o'clock. A massive search for a three-year-old youngster climax today when the body of Ricky Charloff was found in a canal near his home at 12720 Southwest 20th Street. The son of a Miami police officer apparently accidentally drowned. Today's finding ended a search conducted by over 400 police and volunteers. The chief engineer of the cruise liner Yarmouth Castle told the Coast Guard investigation of Miami today of the fiery doom of the vessel at sea on November 13th. He's George Vazales, who holds the chief engineer's license for both Panama and Honduras. He said when he opened empty room number 610, he saw a peculiar colored flame. He said the flames were very light in color, not like oil or wood flames. Richard Duncan Pearson, the 34-year-old friend of the Beach Boys, jailed for the Star of India event, Today received a maximum prison term of five years on charges of receiving and concealing stolen property. His girlfriend, former Key Club buddy, Mary Dennison, was found innocent. The charges involved gems taken in a giant burglary at Jordan Marsh. The holiday weekend was a deadly one on Florida's highways. With 27 persons dead in statewide accidents, five of those victims, residents of Bay County. The county's traffic death toll now stands at 151. New York Yankee infielder Cleet Boyer drew a $175 fine and 30-day suspended jail term today when his attorney entered a no-contest plea to charges of assault and battery. Municipal Judge Arnold Guevara ruled Boyer guilty of striking Jerome Modulinski, a male model from Chicago, during an argument outside of Fort Lauderdale Bar last spring. Engineers at Cape Kennedy have decided an electrical bug in the Gemini 7 guidance system was less serious than first suspected. They say it should not affect Saturday's launch date for astronauts Frank Borman and James Lovell. They're scheduled to make a 14-day space mission. Defense Secretary McNamara said in Saigon today that the South Vietnamese and U.S. have stopped losing the war in Vietnam. However, McNamara did not minimize the need for additional U.S. and Allied reinforcements to counter growing communist infiltration. British Foreign Secretary Michael Stewart arrived in Moscow to sound out the Soviets on peace efforts in the Vietnam War. Two U.S. Special Forces sergeants captured by communist guerrillas in Vietnam two years ago reportedly have been freed and are making their way through Cambodia back to U.S. line. Three Ku Klux Klansmen went on trial today in Montgomery, Alabama, facing federal charges of conspiring to violate a civil rights worker's rights. The trial is the third, centering on the Knight Rider's slaying of Mrs. Viola Luizzo, a Detroit housewife and mother of five, shot and killed last March following the Selma to Montgomery March. An all-white 12-man jury was elected in just 14 minutes to hear the case. Nobody left you in. First in Miami with 2020 News. Just ahead of much more music on the Dick Star Show. Look for clear skies. A low tonight of 65, a high tomorrow of 80. Currently, it's 79 degrees in Miami. This is Larry Kane, WFUN News Sunday. 79 WFUN.